Shalom, Makim. It's Brother Kamama Har here, back at it again. First thing first, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders along the truth from, from GMS. Blessing to the Aki, my dear preacher, his word, with whole our true sincerity. Blessing to 144,000, the one third, first priest, kingdom of heaven. The house of David, the Biyah, the And Shalom, two brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking at different nations. Shalom, one brothers. So today, yo, you know, so we're still in the Passover until the sunset uh, as far as the solemn assembly. And then uh, we're also still in our six days of no leaven in the household and also no consuming it uh, to, you know, um, is where this is a very important high holy day and um, rightfully so. Uh, so. But today I want to drop this video before I, you know, let out the camp. Um, I've seen this, um, this is Fox 5, uh, Fox, Fox 5 News in Las Vegas. They uh, apparently have been seeing chariots. Um, you know what they would call so-called ufos and they're very confused they don't know what it is uh even jake doesn't even know because one of the reporters are, are jake um and so you know they're just very confused and they don't know what's really going on um kind of making mockery of it as far as well not really making mockery it just don't understand what they're looking at and um but they're the chariots of israel you know uh, which the scriptures calls them in different names. I, I put another video up like this before, multiple. But whenever, whenever I see a video like this uh, through the spirit, I like to, you know, uh, put it up from time to time and also answer questions as far as answer the question of what are they and what it is and what they got and what their jobs are and you know what their roles is and what their you know what they do according to prophecy or going to do according to prophecy and also um, you know ex like I said like I just said what are they. So, um, I'm gonna play this video here, and then I'm gonna go to some precepts to uh, back up exactly what I'm saying, and um, go from there. All righty. Well, getting all right. Let's prepare ourselves for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, getting ready for his live shot this morning, our Dylan Kendrick looked up and gasped gasped we say he saw a string of strange lights zipping across the valley sky he's not the only one so what was it do we need to like call the men in black or something let's bring in dylan <laughs> dylan what did you see oh man so you know i'm just gonna start off with saying i'm not the average joe who starts talking aliens just randomly <laughs> to get people fired up this morning. no that's more fun but let's talk let's, i mean i hope we could <laughs> see he saw a laughing right now you know, one, like I just said, they don't even know what they're looking at, but it's funny right now, but when them chariots really show themselves when Yahweh Shah come back um, to, the, to the deliver the elect and also do this destruction, um, you know, they're not going to be laughing in that, in that day. But it's fun and games right now, but laugh now and cry later. <laughs> I hope we can show some of the video, but what we saw, uh, my photographer Luis and I were just talking in between that live shot uh, that we brought to you in the 5 o'clock hour, looked up and just saw at least 20 or 30 uh, lights just kind of coming into a place. So there was a dark sky, nothing, and then these like bright lights just started coming out and uh, just moving uh, about uh, in a southeasterly direction. Uh, one of the strangest things I've seen, like I said, uh, at this point, they're unidentified. UFOs don't associate all the time. See? You see what they're saying? They're unidentified, you know, but the men of the Lord, man, hopeful elect, you know, Lord willing, I could be a part of that number through knowledge. I do know and we all do know as far as Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians of the elect. Uh, we know um, what these with these um, under so-called under under um, unidentifiable uh, objects are, which are, you know, the chariots of the Lord. You know, they're 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 the actual chairs that the angels uh drive or whatever, going going over the course of the earth and do what they do. And I'm gonna bring precepts on on actually how it goes. But they are identifiable, just that you know, a lot of two thirds of our people and um Esau and the heathen don't know because it said they're they do not be dismayed of the signs of heaven, but we are not. But the heathen is roughly paraphrasing. So I'm going to keep going with that with aliens. But uh, at this point, I, I just I've never seen anything like it. Folks are reaching out to me on Twitter from my video. Uh, it was spotted out in California, which tells us these aren't airplanes. They're not drones. But uh, wow, guys, I mean, you guys can chime in. You've seen the video, too. Just let yeah. everyone know at home. I'm not crazy. Well, I mean, <laughs> not for this reason, Dylan, but maybe for others. But anyway, um, were they flying towards Nellis Air Force Base? Could you tell if were they flying in the direction of Nellis? No, so they were actually flying south 
east, I want to say. So come in kind of from a northwest southeast pattern. And uh, if uh, we're taking Las Vegas and looking southeast, I'd say it's more in the direction of maybe headed towards Boulder City, Lake Mead area, uh, towards Arizona was the direction I saw it coming from. But it was coming from the northwest. Uh, as you know, Nellis Air Force Base is in the northeast. But like I mentioned, I don't think these are airplanes because I've been getting tweets from people who saw the same thing mm. out in California. So oh. that just mm. leaves it up to you to decide what it is, guys. So if, if you at home saw this as well, we want to see your video. Uh, please send them to us so we can continue dissecting this. But, I mean, isn't She's Nellis doing those like uh, those here. drills right now? I and I know they've they been were. doing night training. I don't know if that would take them to California, but I feel much better knowing it was them yeah. instead of the latter. Right? Well, I mean, like well, I said... If, if we're being... Go ahead, Dale. Sorry. Go ahead, Dave. I was going to say, if we're being real, I mean, we had just an insane year last year, I think, where everything that could happen happened. Uh, the only thing missing from the slate here is an alien right. invasion. Yep. I don't know what else could happen. Honestly. You know what? Right, an alien invasion. All right, so that's enough of that video. Obviously, uh, Jake... Um, you know, the, 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 well, she could be a Jake, uh, you know, some got weeds and terror, but I'm going to assume that she's a Jake from just the outward appearance. Uh, but also he, the, the heathen, they don't know what these, these, uh, so-called UFOs are. And they're the chariots of, the, of Yahab Bashim Yahushah. So right now I'm going to go into, um, now when you see in the video, um, how the, how the, uh, the chariots was like in formation, looked like birds I, and a, a scripture popped up. Uh, into my uh, my mind with that when this is Isaiah Isaiah 30 um, I think it's Isaiah 31 and 5 or 30 and 5 uh, Isaiah 31 and 5 yes it says uh, as birds flying so will Yahweh Bashem Yahushav host defend Jerusalem defending also he will deliver it and passing over he will preserve it right so when Yahweh Shah come back with all the, all the angels, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be in battle formation, but they're going to look like birds coming. You know, maybe in a V formation or even in that the way. Because, you know, when birds are when birds are flying in the, in the air, they got different patterns of ways, especially when you're all, let's say it's like 30 birds together. They look like sometimes in a line or you see one bird in front with others following. Um, you can see them all bunched together. You know, it, 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 it's, a, it's different um, examples of how birds look when they're flying. That's how the chariots of the Lord look as well, even on the video you just seen. So I'm going to read that again. It says, as birds flying, so will Yahweh Shah of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending also he will deliver it, and passing over he will preserve it. Right. Because the Lord, um, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah, Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shah to deliver his, to, to, to deliver his elect along, along uh, using the angels um, to go over the four corners of the earth in order to, 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 to deliver. And they're going to be uh looking in those manners now granted in that day uh the chairs are going to be very visual they're going to be very terrifying to look at um it's not going to be a happy situation for a lot of people uh but for the israelites to the elect the so-called negroes latinos native indians it's going to be a time to rejoice man it's going to be a time of salvation see that's what the that's what that's what that time frame is about you know that's what these so-called ufos jobs are they're 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 to deliver the elective nation of israel for their salvation and also cause wreaking havoc on his wicked kingdom man you know to contribute to the destruction of babylon that's exactly what their their purpose is um so let me, let me, go, let me go to that let me go to that in general i'm going to um go to um uh, uh matthew 24 24 uh 30 and 31 it says, then and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Right. It says, as birds flying, you know, it's the same with the, uh, Yahweh Shah is going to come. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, Yahweh Shah, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Right. Because when they see Yahweh Shah come back with all those angels, you know, there's other videos of, um, there's other videos of people recording chariots that's very, t they're very scared and was terrified of what they saw. Right. Just imagine when Yahweh Shah come back with the angels in the same manner. What they're looking on those videos, they're going to come into full effect though. Because when when a chariot is seen on this on this side, um, right now they look like orbs of light or look like um, stars in the sky that move in, in dramatic in dramatic fas fashions, which is the Book of Ezekiel. We'll get that as well. And um, now sometimes, you know, you see videos where uh, people on airplanes, you might see the disc-shaped the dish ones because they're different sizes. They look like rolls, uh, tic-tacs, tic 
cigar shaped ones. I mean, all kinds of there's chariots come in many different forms. Um, it says Matthew 24 and 30, and then shall appear the sign of Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Right? Because chariots of the of the nation of Israel are, are named in different ways, uh, different names in the scriptures. So one, clouds are used a lot. You got clouds, whirlwinds, they also uh, uh they also are, are uh, chambers, um mountains, and also there's another one, um um I'm not saying whirlwind. Um, let me see. And one more. I know it's one more. Um, you got chariots itself. You got um, you got mountains, clouds, whirlwinds, chambers. That's what it is. So uh, the word chariot itself is 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 what it what it is. So um, and that right now is used as clouds. And it says thirty one. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet. Right. So Yahweh Shah is going to send his angels and do what? And they shall gather together his elect. From the four winds from one end of heaven to the other right so be so those chariots those chairs that these that these news reporters are seeing they have no idea that they are the actual the angels of the lord um that's going to come back and, and then they're going to show themselves in a true fashion and they're going to go over the face of the whole face of the earth the uh with the so-called rapture is going to have salvation going to give salvation to the to the elect of the nation of israel and they'll get beamed up and be and to be rescued so that way they're not involved of the uh the plagues of this particular wicked kingdom pursuing to um revelations 18 matter of fact i'm gonna bring that out actually it's a spirit revelations 18 uh it says um 18 and um four it says, you know what? Actually, let me read three to go into why this needs to be happening. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Who's that? Her Babylon. And it says, uh, so-called America. And it says, um, and the kings of the earth shall, the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacy. Right. So that's all. It's all this wickedness is going on. I doubt, you know, idolatries, fornications of different religions, all kinds of fuckery. And it says uh, four. And I heard another voice in heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people." And that people is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians. That you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Right. And so in order to, and so in order to be, um, not partakers of that plagues of, of what's going to be happening of the great destruction of that day. Um, you have to be um, the, the 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 angels have to go and and give salvation to the nation of, the, the nation of Israel, which are going to be beamed up into them chariots, so that way they can be you know protected when the calamity happens. That's the salvation. That's how it works. So I says, come out of her, my people. How do you do that? The chariots, man. What these news people are seeing, those are going to be those so-called UFOs or the orbs of light that they're seeing are responsible of the rescue. Of the nation of Israel, the elect, straight like that. That's why this, this precept goes into um, um, uh, it, it, it land backs off of Matthew uh, 24, 30, and 31. Right here in Isaiah 26 and 20 goes into the same time frame. It says, "It says, um, come, my people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, the elect, enter thou into thy chambers. There you go." Just, that's the word. That's the word chamber, which is which is also a ref a word for a so-called UFO um, in general. Like I said, chambers, whirlwinds, chariots, mountains, clouds, etc. Um, those are all the same uh, reference to the same thing. It says, "Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers." Right, because the angels got to go to the four corners of the earth, delivering his elect, so that way, so that way we don't get touched by that calamity. And then shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And what is indignation? Is the is the is Yahweh's uh, anger, righteous anger? You know, he's going to send Asibian missiles on his place. It's going to be Jacob's trouble coming along. I mean, it's going to be the chariots uh, with the laser beams destroying the situation. It's going to be a massive destruction. He says it's going to take one hour. Let me read that again. It says, "Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee." Hide thyself as it were for a little moment 
until the indignation be overpassed. Now, if I'm gonna read 21 for the reasoning, for behold, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah come up out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Right. It's going to be a massive, bloody day, man. And and but the the elect the nation of Israel is going to get beamed up, delivered by Yahweh Shah and the angels in order to in, in order to not be to, to not partake into this destruction that's coming. That's what the whole salvation aspect is in, is into. Um. Uh, let me go to um. Now I did hear I did hear the um, the uh the the um. You know, they when you watch the video, Salakia, they're really like trying to figure this out and like really like amazed about the situation where we're rejoicing because we know what they are, but the heathen doesn't. This is uh, Jeremiah uh, 10. Jeremiah 10. OK, so it says hear 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 you the word which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, which is also going into the fact that this is that this is all about Israel. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh learn not of the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right. So we're not dismayed. Now let's go to the word dis dismay. Um It says uh, a const a constern a, 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 a consternation and distress, typically that caused by something unexpected. You see that? See, so so that's a really good definition of that because we're we're not ignorant to what they are. They are they are the they, the so called UFOs are the chariots of Israel, which which have a purpose. You know, they 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 do the bidding of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah. And the bidding in the, at the latter end is going to be, like I said, to de to de deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, and also to to further the destruction of this place. You know, um, let me go to uh, uh, Zechariah is what I wanted. See, now this is now this is really what they are, um, as far as in a reference uh, aspect. Zechariah five and one. See, here we go again. So this is what. Uh, these heathen were seeing, or when you when or on these videos that's uh, all over YouTube, it says then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I, I see a flying roll, which is also a, a, a so called UFO. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof is ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth, for every one that stilleth shall be cut off on as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on on that side according to it. And I will bring it forth, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and enter in, into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Right. So these these chariots are curses, man, over the face of the earth for the heathen and also two thirds of our people that's going to be left behind. And that, that's not, um, you know, uh, welcomed into that salvation, into the chariots, man. So and, um, and, and what it's saying is that these chariots, man, are a curse, man. And all the thieves and the, the idolaters and all the, you know, all the wickedness that's going on in this place, they're going to be one of the major at major entities or things people will call that's going to destroy the hell out of the, out of babylon and anywhere else that it is it, it was said to go destroy you know like think of world of war a, a war of worlds with tom cruise is a perfect example or independence day it's going to be great destruction along with them icbm missiles man because icbm missiles are also the lord of, are also are part of the lord's army along with these chariots man that's why it says the lord of hosts which host goes into armies you know and so, so, so truth be told, you know, what these newscaster people are seeing that's having fun and games about the chariots or whatever, or just in the mystery of what's going on. At the end of the day, though, they're looking at a curse over the face of the earth that's going to actually have a most likely one of them people, most likely um, if they don't get killed in Jacob's trouble or or in a famine, you know, those those what they're looking at in the sky is going to be the thing that's going to kill them, too, as well. Most likely, well, Lord willing, you know, because the, you know, there's no repentance for the heathen or two thirds as far as, as far as the prophecy that needs to be done that 
two thirds of our people shall be cut off. You know, if you were part of the two third, Lord, 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 Lord forbid for me. But if, if it's my will, it's my will. But Lord will not could be a part of that one third. But at the end of the day, though, two thirds of our people got to be cut off and die, man. And those chariots is going to be one of them on how it's going to go down like that. Because once we beamed up and the ICBM missiles is coming, chariots going to be flying around shooting laser beams like world, like world worlds wreaking havoc, man. And it's going to be a really bad day, you know, and a terrible, terrible bad day. So, you know, hey, I wanted to put this video up, brothers, to prove, uh, to, 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 to give you a, 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 a description or at least through the scriptures to understand what these chariots are. And brothers don't know what they are as well, but we do. So, you know, this is basically Israelite 101, but there could be someone new on my channel is watching my video that doesn't know that that's also agreeing with the newscasters don't know what they are but that's what they are they they're they're, they're to deliver the elect of the nation of israel the so-called negroes latinos native indians and also in the day of the lord they're going to go and destroy a lot of a lot of babylon or all of babylon and be a contribute to the ocbn missile destruction so with that I brought this out. This was edifying to you, brothers. You know, I want, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, and Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders and the true from from GMS. Blessings to the Aki, my dear preacher's word, who are, who are true sincerity. And first thing first, I want to lock it, brothers. Uh, I want to give all praise to Yahweh. He is to be exist by Shem in the name and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Shem in the name and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders. And again, I learned the truth from GMS. A blessing to Akima Dare preaching his word, who are true sincerity, and blessing to the 144,000 one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. The house of David, the Biaf, the Abadah, and Shalom to brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom, brothers.